Now I suggest to relax from space stories and uh, focus on uh, such an interesting subject as cloud technologies. So tomorrow we'll have round table about this and today we have a whole section or panel dedicated to cloud technologies. I will illustrate cloud technologies based on the example of photogrammetry because I know it better than other things and but in fact cloud technologies is something general and it applies not only to surveying for mapping and photogrammetry this is a technology which is not simply good in itself but this is the technology that helps business save money and make money in fact different areas we can see big data we need powerful computers and uh, both companies and businesses have two solutions either they buy this hardware they hire personnel who are going to sit down and process all this data in-house or you can outsource it uh, through cloud or through online service because the term cloud technologies, one of the version is that a cloud is when, whenever people spoke about the internet, it was depicted as a cloud. I will illustrate everything based on photogrammetric examples. You have seen this slide before. In photogrammetry, all the processes are well, rather well automated what needs to be done to acquire the final result. You need to take all the pictures, you need to do aerial triangulation, if you find the type points, uh, then grunt uh, checkpoints, and if uh, sometimes it can be done automatically, then you rectify it, build digital elevation model, uh, build orthomosaic, build the 3D model, and all, everything can be done automatically with the exception of one single operation, which is called stereo drawing which is done by an operator who is sitting behind a special equipment a hardware and is drawing in stereo uh, houses roofs and ravines the whole thing can be visualized as a set of building blocks a building block is like data or algorithms and by putting these building blocks into a certain sequence input output data intermediary data you can get some kind of automatic task and in the photo mode conveyor this is exactly what we have implemented and we continue to promote this service in the left of this window you can see the name of the project the system of coordinates with the input data the model external uh, height matrix if available and on the right you can see the building blocks that need to be put together in certain sequence and the only thing you need to do is to put in all this parameter press the button start processing and uh, get in the output folder whatever you wanted to get why such solutions are important because many times both yesterday and today it was mentioned that uh, data volumes are growing exponentially digital globe what they said 95 percent what they um, acquire nobody sees ever phase one yesterday they made a presentation they specifically wrote on their slide that they have unlimited in-flight data storage so modern satellites modern cameras can in one flight, in one day, acquire humongous volumes of information that needs to be stored somewhere, or 95% need to be stored somewhere where it's not seen by anyone ever, or it needs to be processed. And, uh, sorry? Okay, we'll skip the slide then.
now you can see the video it was mentioned that now we have new products which again require big process power all sorts of 3d models like the ones you saw yesterday and today a lot of beautiful pictures like this one ultra cam osprey camera i don't think you have seen this video before and building of such pictures requires a lot of resources on the other hand as alexander chikurin told us yesterday the moore's law is no longer valid in other words the processors stop growing in terms of their power and speed and to process all this big data we need to use many processors not simply use many processors or clusterized computers or working stations but rather use indeed clusterized systems when you have many computers in a single block with many cores per each computing unit why is it possible if we go back to photogrammetry and we look at the task of building orthophotos first we put in the image it's clear that each image can be done by a dedicated processor if you need ortho rectification again each image can be processed separately by a separate processor or separate core if you need to build a cut line again cut lines are sort of uh, geometric lines that I can cut out and their number would be equal to the number of images and in each of those uh, areas will have a cut line and output mosaic is not something which is homogeneous which is also split into plates and each plate of course can be processed on a separate process or a separate core and such a system multi-core system or multi-cluster system with a huge storage capacity in many processors is not so cheap it consumes a lot of energy and requires some personnel who would service it and the question for your company if you work with big volumes of data you either keep it with yourself or you rent it and use it in cloud as a cloud technology a few words about the productivity we had a customer where we installed such a system with 40 cores on SSD 20 terabyte storage here you can see how author photos are built if we take space acquisition then we have half a million square kilometers per day and output ortho photo but the requirements of the customer was 40 centimeters despite the fact that it was resource P which is a very good productivity and if we speak about building some 3d models then depending on whether it is a urban acquisition overlap rate it will require many times more of processing or rendering power, uh, time and in a regular working station, if you take 4,000 images, you'll need at least a week or months to process them all. Nobody would be happy with this, obviously. That's why you need powerful systems. Now we move on to how these clouds can help us do it better. People spoke about big data here, that we have big data and the cloud technologies can be subdivided into cloud storage and cloud computation I will speak about both of them as far as the cloud storage is concerned everybody owns a smartphone you take pictures and those pictures are automatically automatically end up in some Dropbox box or Google Drive those who own iPhone white cloud then Russian users might have Yandex Disk or Mail.ru Cloud. You take a picture, 
and right away on the another computer you can view it this picture ends up in the cloud and you can view it on another computer we have a project with another company we exchange documents through Yandex disk not necessarily pictures any kind of data videos images documents can be shared like this many people might be concerned why so maybe somebody else will get access to my data but aside from the public cloud storages there are some private initiatives when this storage is organized within the intranet of your company and there is a software which can organize this then everything is secure now moving on to the cloud computation here you can see examples of cloud storage devices people were already scared by pentabytes somebody else mentioned something else here at Rockers, I think we have very powerful computation system installed with a capacity of half a petabyte you can't put the whole Bible there but it's quite big for large projects not everyone can afford to have this and as Alexander Chikurin told us the speed is growing for data transmission and all of these terabytes and pentabytes based on modern systems can be tra transferred or broadcast from one place from your office to the cloud and be processed there moving on now to the cloud computation if we look at the global market here the proposal is huge here the company Microsoft offers Microsoft Azure it's not necessarily based on Microsoft operating system a leader leading company in this sector would be Amazon Elastic Cloud which was mentioned previously at our conference program developers like for instance such cloud provider as Digital Ocean and also there's there are regional favorite services in Russia I told you Ross Telecom offers uh, virtual software for data processing there are also specialized cloud storages we had a separate presentation on Digital Globe which was moved around and there's a German company Cloud EO who offering to compute or process space data through their cloud we naturally have tested Photomod on different cloud providers here we cloud in the Amazon cloud and in the virtual site of Ross Telecom when we were testing it in Amazon we ordered a server and Amazon has servers both in Europe and South America and in China I think they opened server we ordered a server from the United States well Amazon has very good uh, communication speed we had very good reception speed because of the many servers to receive big projects we needed a whole month to process it for a few uh, hours so we were not happy with that with the Russian telecom we had no such problems naturally everywhere Photobot was working fine everywhere we could use it now Photomod is living in the cloud EO this is a German company we'll have a separate presentation next one I think about geo cloud where we placed Photomod we also develop with Annapolis University that's where Photomod lives as well and uh, a few years ago Russian space systems approached us who develop uh, cloud not for the space imagery but for UAV acquisition and we also have Photomod there but in fact it seems 
very easy. You take your own software, you put it in the cloud, and uh, all of a sudden it starts working there. But it's not always like this easy. It's not always so good. Like, for instance, when we learned about the architecture of the Annapolis cloud, we had to do some extra work, do a lot of experiments, and because of the experiments and adaptation of Photomod to the architecture offered by the Annapolis University, we managed to expedite the creation of a photo by the factor of four, which is very good. A few more facts from the internet. I don't know if you believe them or not. In 2017, business placed not uh, data availability, uh, not data security, but rather data cost, uh, which is uh, high on agenda. 30% of Microsoft profits comes from uh, cloud-related technology. 41% of businesses plan to invest in cloud technology. 70% of enterprises already use it, but uh, mostly for storage. There is another forecast by 2020. New software will be deployed not as a license, but as a sort of cloud service where you don't need to install your own software but uh, run it from a cloud and uh, at the bottom of the page is the projected uh, projected uh, cloud technology growth and conclusions are the same as they were last year cloud technologies can be successfully used for photogrammetric processing so it all comes down to the price. If it's cheap, it will be popular and common. Software will be delivered not as a license, but as a, as a service in the future. I have no doubt in that. That's all from my side. Thank you. Your questions, please. Let's look at a small example. A company has a photo mode license several workstations using different modules. How will that fit into a cloud? And how can you access licensable workstations? At the moment, such license uh, does not exist. But do you have anything in the first approximation how it might play out? We hope that RAS Cartographia will soon start uh, processing at uh, Annapolis using cloud-based photo mode. We are ready for it. As, as far as the price, I, I don't know. It's, I can't tell you. It's out of my domain. I'm, I'm willing to contribute to that. Thank you. Can you give uh, a tentative estimate about how your commercial policy will work? Uh, there will be a presentation, next presentation, by Yuri Reisman about it. I've never put uh, 
a price on it. Alexander Dmitrievich uh, will provide you with an answer. What about uh, acquisition or performance rate? You think it will be equivalent to a desktop workstation? It will be better. It will be higher. It depends on the connection channels, the architecture. If we use Amazon clouds, we recommend uh, we recommend using SSDs for half of the stuff you store. But still, I guess it implies a wider circle of users if you enter this arena. So do you plan to simplify the operation? This interface is being developed. If you need something quick, you tick off boxes on entry and exit and the cloud performed all the calculations. But if you need to be very accurate, if you want to control for all parameters and you have proper qualifications, then you can control intermediary stages. If something goes wrong, if you detect an error early on, then you can fix it so that it does not migrate into further stages. As far as I know, reliefs are built using this solution. Oleg, am I right? Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, I'd like to know that if a client uh, has bought uh, such as uh, five loads uh, uh, net license of photo motor, then uh, could he set up uh, his own local cloud uh, internet uh, um, to for cloud computer of their own data? The answer is, if you have a network license of photo mode, it is only a partial solution for the cloud. Our conveyor solution is different, and it requires more payment for it. But you can contact our commercial director if you are interested in changing your license. Thank you.